Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us as we explore the Tuscany city of Livorno. The third largest cruise port in Italy. Let's go. All right, so welcome to Livorno. That's right. Um, we've actually been here a couple hours already. Gonna catch you up though. So we are on a cruise ship, and right now it actually ended up not going to Portofino. Instead, we are gonna do two days here, which most people end up going to Pisa or Florence from here, and that's the main reason why it's a such a large tourist port. Yep. Um, but we're doing that tomorrow. So we want to see what we can do today. That's right. So we're trying to find some places that you must see and you must eat. Give you a reason if you don't want to go to Florence or Pisa. Yeah. Um, so it starts off, we were in a cruise port. We did have to take a shuttle. It's a very industrial area. You're not going to want to walk it. No. So definitely figure out where your shuttle is at and, and take that. Um, took about 15 minutes to get to the downtown area, which brings you right into the center of things. Yeah, and there were a couple options, at least as soon as we got off of the boat. There was a couple excursions right there. Um, I didn't check the prices on those. And then as soon as we got off the shuttle, there was also a couple of people selling excursion type things. Or like take a, a taxi. taxi to Florence yeah. or Pisa. Um, but we ended up walking through the Venice Quarter, which is really cool. It's a nice waterway area. Mm -hmm. um, there's restaurants and cafes along the way, but a lot of the places, they were not open. Yeah, so um, you gotta check the times. And yeah. then that might not even work. Yeah, we were checking the times on Google, on TripAdvisor, on Yelp, on their websites. Um, some said they were open for lunch, some did not. Um, a lot of them are really only open until at dinner, which is like 6 p.m. Uh, so we ended up at a nice little restaurant that was overlooking the New Fortress area. And by New Fortress, it was like 1590. Yes. So, so it's not new to what we think is. Yeah, <laughs> not new for Americans, but no. new for Italians. Yes. Um, it was a nice little restaurant. Seemed very like mom and pop style. Agreed. Um, we ended up with the mussels to start, which were delicious. And we did find out that seafood and pasta is going to be what we're going to go for here. Yeah no problem there so the mussels were great they were nice and fresh very simple seasoning lemon and white wine probably um but i thought one of the best stars the winner of the appetizers we had was definitely the fried zucchini flowers yeah they were delicious and they were stuffed with a prawn and it oh. was like a nice light airy fry it was so good and it was so hot like you know it was fresh oh it's just oh. so tasty. And we also got a half a liter of house wine, which yeah. was really good. Semi-sweet. Um, I thought it was great. I did too. And then for our mains, we ended up both doing some pasta. You ended up with the seafood risotto. Yes. And I ended up with the gnocchi. I thought your gnocchi was really good and light. They were a lot smaller than what we had yesterday or on our previous <laughs> days here in uh, Italy. But the risotto also was good it was just a little a bit more al dente, al dente. than we're used to yeah. um but like the seafood there was seafood in both of them both of them fresh. very nice fresh yeah. um and then after that we ended up going over to piazza della repubblica uh which is neat but also like a whole I lot of nothing it. yeah <laughs> yeah there's two statues and a big old blank space yep. um, but right now we are walking through the new fortress area uh, which they did turn into a park i believe about 50 years ago. Oh, okay. um, I did read that during World War II there were houses that were damaged and they actually had people living here and they've mm. turned it into a public park since then. It's really pretty up here and peaceful. I will say that about Livorno in general right now. It's a very peaceful city. It doesn't feel very busy. No, easy to get around mm -hmm. uh, once you get to the city center. That's right. But let's keep going. here at Church of St. Catherine. It was created in 1755 and check out the size of these doors. There's Rachel. <laughs> Came out of the Church of St. Catherine. 
It's amazing because on the outside you're like, ah. Yeah, it okay. almost looks like rubble. Yeah. Um, like it seems very unfinished. Um, nothing extraordinary, but then you go inside and it's amazing. Yeah, the architecture, the details, the way they have each little cathedral area. Yeah, there's like five separate off. chapels that have been dedicated to other things. And then like one main church area, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not, I'm not trying to butcher this at all, but <laughs> yeah. um, one area where they hold church services. Um, very cool. Definitely, if you're in the area, you should check it out. That's right. Go inside. Alright, we know that you're not supposed to drink cappuccino in the afternoon, but it's one of the few things we know how to order that we know has milk and it's not just like straight espresso. Yeah, I don't understand the cappuccino in the afternoon. I think it's great. Uh, but we sat down here, it's just across from Via uh, del Madonna, and we're on Via del Giglio. Uh, grab a cookie. Uh, these look like a lobster tail, as we call them in America, bamboloni, and two cappuccinos for $6.90. So where our coffee was at, you can see there's a protest going on coming down the street. All right, just around the corner um, for where we had our coffee is the Cathedral of St. Francis. Um, I believe they also got the Duomo. We're gonna see if we can go inside. We can see it was created in 1595. Time for a gelato break. All right, normally we try to get as many flavors as we possibly can, but we have landed on our two favorite flavors. I agree. So it's pistachio and amarena, which amarena is the the cherry. cherry. It's so Ooh. good. So good, both of them. And two two scoop cups was six euros. Along the waterfront there is an aquarium that you can come to, but we're going to try going on the other side of it. Let's see if we can grab a drink and then uh, hang out here for sunset. The aquarium closes at five, so we only would have had 10 minutes, so a drink and a sunset seems better off. Rachel thinks we're gonna get kicked out because it's a five-star hotel, but I think we're gonna make it. So there's a rooftop. It doesn't open until 7.30 though. Yeah. Which would be after sunset. I, I wanna be up there for sunset. I agree. Oh, well. back to the park. Actually, I'm drinks. We're gonna grab some drinks at the bar right over here. Bar La Terraza.
All right, we have made our way back towards uh, Little Venice. That's where we're gonna have dinner. And then we'll get picked up right here at this corner later for our bus back to the cruise ship. But we're gonna do dinner first. appetizer anti-pasta so this looks like some grilled eggplant uh, not really sure what this is I do believe it looks like a seafood uh, mixture on some bread um, I would guess that's a black olive tapenade um, couscous maybe I have no idea I'm not sure um, and then look at all these meats meats, meats and cheeses a charcuterie board Josh. yeah quite the charcuterie board all right, we are getting some more pasta today. Uh, we're gonna do some ricotta stuffed uh, ravioli, and then some boar's meat ragu. Wide noodles, yeah. Yeah, wide noodles. Oh my gosh, looks so good. All right, for dessert, um, it's a house-made one. She said it's like <laughs> Nutella. There's a little language barrier going on, but we like <laughs> Nutella. It looks like a mousse. back in our room it is 9 30 so all of that was done in under 10 hours i'll say about nine and a half hours right yeah that's pretty good mm -hmm. um i think what would be difficult is a lot of times if you are on a cruise excursion for this or just a cruise day you're probably going to have to be back on the ship before a lot of the restaurants open for dinner yeah. so you'll have to do some a little bit of studying to figure out a lunch but like our lunch spot actually served pretty much a full Full on dinner type yeah. meal. Yeah, it, it was, it was really a good. similar menu to what our dinner place was. Yep. So you can get the full experience. Um, you just have to get out there earlier. But I thought it was a fun day. I did too. It was busy. Um, we walked a lot, so you will get a lot of steps in. Yeah. If you're gonna do it on foot, anyhow, because yeah. I'm at over twenty-one thousand. I am at eighteen thousand. Yeah. My legs are a little bit longer. My short legs. Yes. <laughs> um, so you, you will do some walking, but I think this is a decent alternative if you're not looking to do like Florence of Pisa, which some of those excursions are 150 to $200 a person. Yeah. And so, especially when you're including like families with kids and stuff. It's gotta be are, kind of pricey. Yeah, are you looking to drop, you know, 500 to $800 a person? You can get a really good experience here with some good meals. I thought it was fun. Yeah, favorite bite of the day. My favorite bite of the day was the the blossoms zucchini, blossom. zucchini blossoms that were fried, fried at the very first place mm -hmm. with the prawns inside of them i thought that was awesome me too that would be my favorite bread of the day it All was so right. freaking good <laughs> favorite moment of the day uh sunset over at that little checkerboard place. yes it's awesome. beautiful mm -hmm. and there's just a ton of people around but everybody's just happy yeah and it's truly gorgeous yes something we'd have never seen had we not had a full day here in agreed mm -hmm. now if you want to see what it's like to go to Florence and Pisa, stick around because right. we're going there tomorrow. We'll show you tomorrow. Yeah, so that's going to be another video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you can come along on our journey. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. Good night.